Today we're going to be talking about how to find the derivative of an inverse trigonometric function. In this particular case, we're going to be looking at the function y equals the inverse sine or arc sine of 2x plus 1. And as a reminder, we're going to be using the formula for the derivative of arc sine, which tells us that the derivative of arc sine is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now the important thing to note about this formula, and in particular, all of the formulas for the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions is that whatever we have this x here inside of the inverse trigonometric function, that is tied specifically to the x here in our result. And what that means is that whatever we have here for our x, in this case, we have 2x plus 1, that 2x plus 1 is going to go in here for x. So our result is not just going to be 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared, it's going to be 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus the quantity 2x plus 1 squared. So whatever we have inside of our arc sine function or arc cosine, arc tangent, etc., we want to make sure we plug in for x into the right hand side here of our formula. So the derivative y prime we'll need to calculate using chain rule. And for the chain rule part, we'll need to recognize arc sine as the outside function and 2x plus 1 as the inside function. So essentially, we'll take the derivative of the outside function first, leaving the inside function completely untouched, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So we know that the derivative of arc sine is this right-hand side over here. So what we'll do is we'll say 1 over the square root of 1 minus, and remember here, we have to plug in whatever is on the inside of our arc sine function here. So in this case, 2x plus 1 squared. So that is the derivative of the outside piece. It's the derivative of arc sine. But now, because we have something more involved inside of our arc sine function than simply x, we don't have just arc sine of x, we have arc sine of a function here, we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of 2x plus 1 is 2, so we go ahead and multiply our result here by 2, and that's how we apply chain rule to find the derivative. So remember that whatever you have inside here, you're plugging in for x in your formula, and then if you've got anything special in here, make sure that you multiply by the derivative of this inside function. And now it's just a matter of simplification. So what we'll do is we'll simplify what we have under the square root. So we'll get the square root of 1 minus, keep in mind here that this is 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1, and we're just going to multiply out. So we'll get here 4x squared plus 2x plus 2x is plus 4x plus 1, and that's all underneath the square root. And then, of course, we still have this multiplied by 2. So we'll continue simplifying. Let's bring the 2 into our numerator. And then here in our square root, we'll have 1 minus 4x squared minus 4x minus 1 when we distribute that negative sign. Now we can see that we're going to get 1 and negative 1 here to cancel, and we'll be left with y prime is equal to 2 divided by the square root of negative 4x squared minus 4x. What we can do is we can pull out a 4 inside of our square root sign. So when we do that, we factor out a 4, we'll get 4 times negative x squared minus x, and we'll close that square root. What we can do now is take the square root of the 4 separately. When we do, we'll get 2, so we'll get 2 divided by 2 times the square root of what's remaining, which is negative x squared minus x, and at this point, we can go ahead and cancel the 2 from the numerator and denominator. That means that our final answer is y prime is equal to 1 divided by the square root of negative x squared minus x. And that's how we use the formula for the derivative of arc sine to find the derivative of this inverse trigonometric function. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.